Hey yo, what's up dorks? Welcome back to my channel. And well, it's been a long good how many months is it? Eight, nine, ten, something like that? I don't I don't know. Uh sorry I died. I was in the process of uh, moving. Um Yeah, sorry for not letting you guys know. Uh it was kinda just like uh up and at it kind of thing. Uh sorry if I also sent out mixed signals with the five hundred subscriber thing. I kinda wanted to memorialize my room with a video. <laughs> I also wanted to show you guys how I lived. I guess I was a filthy pig uh, compared to some of you. But uh, yeah, you know, uh, welcome back. <laughs> I'm currently in my new room and uh, it's still kind of got the same layout. So nothing's changed, I guess. Things stay the same. Uh, anyways, uh, I start, start to start off the video. Uh, I want to say sorry to my homies, Pobleto, Pobleto, Pobles, Pobleti. Uh, it's Roberto Pobletti at Infamous Idols, which is a homie Isaac. Homie Isaac Correo. Shout out to the homies. And uh, I'm going to answer these questions before we get started real quick. Because uh, I do want to get to the tier list, but I promised them I was going to make... I was going to answer these questions. So here we go, fellas. Here we go! Alright, number one. Where is the top ten Deli Meets Review video? Ah! Um, sorry I haven't got to that yet. You know, I'm a little busy with moving. Even though it's been three months, yeah, I get it. You know, three months is more than adequate enough time. Um, but I'm just lazy, and the uh, army's been calling me up, so I've been kind of busy with that. Oh, and work called me up literally the same week that I moved, so that was fun. Sleepless lights on me. Uh, Delhi Meats is going to have to wait until, I guess, COVID opens up again. Or COVID, well, whatever Delta COVID Alpha Psi strain we're going on with today. But, yeah, once we open up, I'll probably get that Delhi Meats review going. And maybe I could even tag you boys along with it. You know, that'd be pretty dope. <laughs> uh, when are you going to review your dog? Uh, that's a good one. I gotta, I gotta think of that one soon. You know, he's getting old, so I gotta review him quick. Uh, no implications there. Where is a dog giveaway sweepstake? Um, you can't have him. He's mine. He will always be mine. Uh, you can't have him. Uh, never will be. Uh, will we see more? docu style videos like the water park one omega martin vegas will be cool uh i think you told me that before and that one is pretty dope actually i do want to go to that one um the thing with that one though is that it's not really like i don't, I don't know how long it's been i think it's been out for a few years at least um i kind of want to do historic videos which is why i kind of did like the water park one it's abandoned forgotten and there's something like just kind of wanted to do like an essay uh, omega Mart would be pretty cool though to just like check it out that'd be pretty dope but uh, that's uh, one of them. Can you guys? Yeah, you guys can read it. Okay, I don't know why I was going on about. Uh, last but not least, homie. Well, I will. I will make more docu style videos though, but uh, later on. But that's a good one right there. How do I get blood stains out of my tapestry? Tapestry. Um, that's kind of a hard one, you know. Um, depending how fresh the blood is, you know, if it's a couple hours. Um, It'd be a little easier because it's still fresh. You could probably just throw it in the water, throw it in some Clorox and bleach. Let it come out, you know. Only problem is, though, the UV lights, so you can see it. So it kind of kind of screwed. I would say just throw it away at that point. But, uh, yeah, that's that's. Uh, I hope you like those answers. <laughs> sorry, I'm, uh, sorry I was late, but, you know, <laughs> it is what it is. At least I answered you guys. I love you guys. You guys are the homies. All right, the homie Isaac, dude, was popping. Let's see. How does it feel to be the sexiest man on earth? I think I'm sexy, dude. Damn. Thank you. PlayStation 5 giveaway for the 500 sub special. Battle Royale style. You know, we pretty dank if I could have like 100 of you guys just like drop into a map like Fortnite and just kill each other. You know, that would be pretty dope. And then whoever wins gets the PlayStation 5. That would be pretty sick. <laughs> All right. What new upcoming content you got for your viewers? Uh, like I said, docu style is pretty cool. I like having little document videos because uh, those are my two popular ones. One, they're not popular. The the water park one isn't, but the I made one recently about the uh, well, not recently, a couple of years ago, about uh, take the cake, wash your mate. That one was pretty fun to bring something back that people forgot about. That's kind of like what I like doing. Things do things that people forgot about and then bring it back. Uh, so we'll have more document kind of style, and then we'll have more food reviews. I'm still looking for some food though, so if you guys suggest some foods down below, uh, I can review them. Up to you guys though, it's all up to you guys. Uh, let's see. 
what else? I think that should be it, honestly. Well, food. Uh, I'm trying to do some game reviews, and I'm also trying to do some, like... It's a little sneak peek. I'm not trying to hint it out or just get rid of it, but I'm trying to do some history, like, uh, history recap stuff. But, like, I want to throw in my mix. I want to throw in, like, my my dank, funny little mix. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. <laughs> uh, release Jimmy Neutron from the Shadow Realm? Question mark. Uh, I'm assuming that's a question. I'm going to say no. I'm not going to. He deserves to be there. His brain's too powerful. It's too big. Um, if it keeps getting bigger, mankind will never be able to stop him. Have you seen my book, Go Dog Go? Uh, no, I haven't. I'm sorry. Uh, I should buy it, though. Let me Send me the link, <laughs> and I'll read it. Will Bums Fight be returning to your channel? Um, that's a good one. You know, I kind of stopped doing it because it's, it's unethical, I guess, in people's eyes. But truly, it was fun. It was fun just throwing a sandwich in between both of them, seeing who would win. But unfortunately, I think uh, human right activists would probably destroy my channel if I allowed that to happen again. But, you know, maybe one day, hopefully I can bring it back. <laughs> Did you stop the end people from taking our women? Sadly, a few of them have been lost to the tribe. We can't get them back. They're gone. But... For the rest that did stay, um, I did save them. And people can return and probably will return sometime soon. So I do need to start the army back up again, you know. We gotta get our people to protect our people. Uh, any sidekicks? Add any sidekicks to your channel? Uh, I think so far you guys are gonna start becoming the sidekicks, to be honest. I'm trying to get you guys to, to start... Well, I'm talking about the boys. Like I'm trying to get you homies to start getting on the channel. That would be pretty dink. Uh, hopefully you guys can at least maybe we can hop on discord and hopefully we can make like a tier video or like we can make stories about boot camp stories about the army because i know we have a bunch of dumb retarded stories about stuff we went on or did especially this summer that just that the whole month just sucked it, it, it sucked it really, really bad so we can talk about that so maybe you guys could become the sidekicks other than that i think blue is a sidekick he just kind of shows up whenever he's been here since 2013 so We'll see how much longer he'll be around. Hopefully, even longer. But that's the uh, that's the question. That was all the questions for the 500 subscriber special. Sorry that I didn't get to you guys, especially since you guys were the only ones who applied or commented to the, to the YouTube channel. Um, everyone else was Instagram, so I'm sorry, dorks. But uh, let's get back to the video now. Thanks for sticking around, and hopefully we can make it to a thousand subscribers, homies. I doubt it, but you know, baby steps, baby steps. Alright guys, well now time for the actual part of the video, so I hope you guys are ready. Um, today we're going to be going over our tier list for Call of Duties. Well, let me specify it. When I mean Call of Duties, I mean like every single mainline Call of Duty. Because the other day I watched a video where they were like ranking every single Call of Duty and there was like 40 of them. And I was kind of tripping, but then I realized there's a few Call of Duties with like different kinds of versions. Like there's one for the end gauge and then... There's, there's there's those for like the DS and all that and I, I don't know about those. those those are wild and those wouldn't really count as a Call of Duty like game per se when I mean like Call of Duty game I mean like the mainline console slash PC kind of release uh, except the the side ones as well I know there's the big red one for Call of Duty 2 and then there's another side one I can't remember the name of uh, I played those but um, I'm not gonna re review those exactly and I'm not gonna review like the the War Out War version of P on the PS2 uh, that one's just weird. I just mean like the mainline main Call of Duties that uh, have been released. Um, if it's on the list, I'll show you the list actually. I'll get it going right now. If it's on the list, I'm going to review it. Uh, maybe if there's not, we can add it, but whatever, you know. So anyways, guys. So without further ado, let's jump on into the video. It's going to be quick. It's going to be an easy video. Uh, nothing crazy. No crazy editing. I'm just going to come in, uh, do my damage, and then dip. Come and go, as they say. All right, folks. So, for the first one, let's go with Call of Duty, the first one, homie. Sheesh. Uh, <clears throat> voice crack. So, the first Call of Duty, you know, it's the best one. Well, not really, but I should stop talking. <laughs> I should stop talking and start thinking. All right, so the first Call of Duty, uh, when it first came out, super rev revolutionary at the time. Came out on PC only and then eventually made its way to Xbox. Um, super great game. Uh, it stood out from the competition, mostly because of just the revolutionary graphics, or they were just like uh, like ahead of the time a little bit. Granted, it was a PC game, but it was just super fun. The multiplayer and a single player. The single player was the best part of it. I truly liked it. 
Um, this one will definitely go compared to the today's. I'm, I'm kind of gonna review them like kind of as a nostalgic view and then also a current view. Uh, at the time when it was released, I think it was really great. Um, you know what? I think it'll stay at A. It should stay at A. Unless changed so, so hopefully not. Um, so okay, it's moving on. It's definitely an A for the first one. Now, the second one, when it came out, uh, pretty lit, you know. Um, I never played it a lot. I only played it for the story and a few levels in the, on the multiplayer. It was pretty fun back in the day. Um, for Call of Duty 2, let's see. I think I would put it at the B section. It's pretty fun, not as great as Call of 1, I think, but it was pretty fun at the time. Um, yeah, okay, so let's see. So we gotta go to the dreaded Call of Duty 3. Now that one, when they switched, uh, I believe which one was it? Was it Treyarch? I think they switched to Treyarch. That one's pretty bad. Um, the story was fun, I mean, it was fun, but it's just a lot of problems that came with it while playing the game. Mm, that one I had to go with D. Sorry, dog. Unfortunately, it is what it is. Call of Duty 3 wasn't the best. Uh, jumping over, you know, you couldn't really tell. Once, when you jumped over generations, you couldn't really tell it was a next-gen game. It just wasn't that great, honestly. It's, it's something It's something we've seen before, because it, it's, it's kind of funny when you think about it that back then we used to cry about how we hated uh, World War II shooters. There were too many of them. They were too rampant. No one liked them because there was just so many... I think this was the breaking point for World War II shooters. I know later on for World I War, we, people started crying again that we don't like World War II shooters. But I think Call of Duty 3 was where to the point where like it was lazy, unmotivated. People were saying, look, Call of Duty is kind of boring already. Even though we had, we, we did have two with the Call of Duty 2. We did have like two extra side ones, big red one or something else. But at that point by Call of Duty 3, everyone was like, okay, this formula has been tried and true. It's kind of boring. Kind of like how Infinite Warfare hit. People didn't like uh, uh, experimental shooters or, or movement, the movement. So that's kind of what happened with Call of Duty 3. So that's why it's going to go on D. I think there's going to be nothing that goes below D. So I don't know why there's E and F. Maybe I could put an F. It's not really that bad, in my opinion. It's like, I would say it's like the 2 out of 5. It's not the worst game ever, but it's not It's not like with the brothers. You know what I'm saying? Like, like hug me, brother! Like how Drake says it from... I Carly. All right, so let's see. Up next, we have Call of Duty 4. Now, fellas, fellas, this is like the this is like the first Call of Duty that I ever played, and it was just super lit, dog. At the time, uh, when I first got it, I didn't expect it. I didn't know what to expect going into Call of Duty. I didn't even know what Call of Duty was. Uh, my dad used to play it on his PC. That's how I started playing it. But that was after I started playing Call of Duty 4. So, Call of Duty 4 is definitely, I think, I would say. I think it would still be an S tier, honestly. I can still hop on, and I can still have fun going into servers. Uh, even in PC, like if you hop on a PC server, there's custom servers, there's still people online playing. I think the balancing for the weapons is pretty fun. Um, the M4, well, and then the AK, everything was just fun. Like, like all the, even though like it was basic, like, like they introduced the class system and all that stuff, and that was pretty dope, it, but it was still basic at the time. But, well, it was basic now, but at the time, it was amazing, it was beautiful. Something pretty much we haven't seen. So, it's still, and it's still pretty good to this day. Like, if you can still hop on, you can still play, find servers, it's still fun. Maybe you'll find hackers, because there are a lot of hackers, but on PC, it's pretty good. Alright, fellas, so, moving on to Call of Duty 5, which they just changed the title to What I War. Uh, what I War was kind of, it, it was kind of like in a weird situation, because... When it came out, that's when people started screaming again, saying, why are we going back to what I, World War II? Uh, we just had this fresh, new, modern shooter. You know, it's something we haven't seen in a long time, or something we haven't seen, like... Well, we've seen it, we've seen it a few times prior, like in a few PC shooters and all that. But, like, so, to go back to World War II is kind of like, eh. Like, if you look at it back, back then, people were just mad at it because it's repetitive, like, oh... You're just copying Call of Duty 4, you know, with the same formula. We have guns you can head in, multiplayer modes, like um, the leveling up system. You're, it's just being unoriginal, and it's in World War II. People kind of want, like, a, another experience of, like, modern shooters. They want more weapons or better weapons, you know. Like, kind of like how the new Modern Warfare is, I'm sorry. Kind of like how the new Modern Warfare is now, you know, with all the weapons and everything. If you really think about it, Modern Warfare is just a 
big ass update from Call of Duty 4. So to go to World at War, it was kind of a downgrade to be honest. I didn't see it at the time. I loved it when I was playing back then. Uh, the zombies was where it got me, dude. I freaking love zombies. Back in the day, I was so scared to play it. I had to have like someone in the room with me because I was like so spooked. But a few years later, it's like now I can play it without like getting scared and all that. So definitely, definitely would put it in the. I would say in the B, honestly. The zombies alone, if it was just a zombie game, I think I would put it like in the A or S tier. But B is fine for what I wore. It did start the zombies. It is very important, but to be honest, it's like with the history of it, it's it's just it, I think B is fine. <laughs> I wish I could put it up, but we'll see. Anyways, after Call of Duty: What I Wore, we had Modern Warfare 2, baby, or yeah, Modern Warfare 2. I don't know why I'm tripping, fellas. Modern Warfare 2, sheesh, bro. When it first came out, bro, literally it broke box office records. And it wasn't even a movie. It was like down. It was just. It was a super big like event dude it was crazy the multiplayer was just so fast paced and crazy everything was so broken that the, it, it just it just got fixed it fixed itself like if you, you could run around with noob tubes and someone runs around with a one-man army someone runs around with the dual freaking shotguns uh i forgot what they were called the akimbo's freaking 18 something those things were crazy dude just running around with them and then it was just it was just fun dude it was just it's something that Call of Duty needed, and then the story was top-notch, dude. Couldn't be beat, like, to be honest. That was just, like, top-tier, super top-tier story, super top-tier. Like, the modes, the modes are fun, the multiplayer, the campaign. And then Spec Ops, dude, playing Spec Ops with your brother, or your, your siblings, your friends. It was just super fun, dude. I would always grind for the three stars, for three stars everything. I actually got it, I think, on uh, PC, I think. PC or Xbox, can't remember. I played it originally on console, but even even like years later on PC, I was still grinding for the three stars, and it was just a superb. Uh, nowadays, it's hacked. There's a lot of hackers, but there's new things coming out, especially SM2, which is kind of like a mod of it. It's 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 still great. I think I think if it, if there weren't any hackers or anything like that, this would still be like super amazing. But I think for S tier, this is as good as it gets. Uh, Thinking of bringing down Modern Warfare, actually, Call of Duty 4. Yeah, I'm going to bring it down. Because compared to Modern Warfare 2, I think Modern Warfare 2 is a million times better. But call, but you always got to remember where you start from. So, but I think I'll keep it at 8. That's fine. What the fuck? Someone honked. All right. Moving on, fellas. So, after what I wore, what's the best, best next step? Well, we're going from World War 2 all the way... To the Cold War, homie, we're going to Vietnam, baby. The 60s, fellas. Now, Black Ops, dude. Black, mm, Black Ops, dude. You can't go anywhere without hearing how great it is, dog. And it really is a great ass game, dude. Like, dead ass. The campaign is perfect. I'm talking like, like mixtures of like Cold War, espionage, and freaking. You just, it's, it's just crazy because it's, it's, you don't see the, like, you don't see the, the twist coming. Um, like, it's, they're using tactics people used back in the 60s. Uh, we have Castro in it. We have freaking the president in it. We have JFK. Uh, we have all these like big players in the Cold War. It's just crazy. Um, and then talking about multiplayer too. Multiplayer was just super fun, dude. The COD point system, which I think is one of like the fun, like the best system you could put in a game. That was just perfect, dude. I loved racking up COD points and just buying weapons. But what's funny about it though is that you know I only bought a few weapons that I really liked, but eventually I did buy all the weapons and then it was pretty fun just trying them all out. The thing about it though is that if you don't like you don't have to kill like you don't have to set up like a certain amount of like let's say like if you're trying to unlock like attachments for it, you don't have to unlock them like killing people and all that, um, getting headshots, getting body shots. You can just buy it like with the points. But in my opinion, you know that means you don't have to like grind it out. Maybe that kind of killed the vibe a little bit, but I but I really like the COD points. And if they brought it back, it would just be super amazing because you could probably buy skins. You could buy, like, well, it wouldn't make sense nowadays because, of course, everything has to be paid with money, with real money. But if they brought back COD points and you could buy, like, certain skins from a store, from a COD store, you know, it would be super dope. But I think, and then zombies. Can't forget about zombies. To be honest, like, this was, I think Black Ops was one of the best zombies, like, they had. Well, I'm going to say that like for each COD or each Black Ops, but what I wore in Black Ops was like super simple. They gave you a nice little sandbox to mess around with with each map. And I think 
Kino and Ascension are like one of my top favorite like maps ever. Those two are like up there, up there. Um, especially Ascension, that one was super easy just to train. And then PhD Flopper, top tier, dude. Um, I think Call of Duty Black Ops will be always memorable to me, and then it definitely deserves a spot in S tier. So let's keep on moving on, homies, because it gets better. And then we're going to reach the, the dark times of, uh, of, of the COD series. All right, so moving along. I'm trying to think of which one's next. Modern Warfare 3. So Modern Warfare 3, fellas. Um, to be honest, it was the story was good. I liked it because it was a continuation and it did conclude the series. But, like, uh, to be honest, I don't really know, honestly. Like, it was fun. I had my blast. I had my fair share of fun. And... It was great, but it wasn't as memorable as, as playing Modern Warfare 2 and, and experiencing all like for the first time again. It was just kind of a reiteration, if you if you will, of just copying Modern Warfare 2 and then improving on it. And then they did add a new mode, which was a uh, uh, believable survival. That one was pretty good. I liked it, but it wasn't like zombies. Like zombies is like I think the top tier like mode that you can have in a COD game and infection was pretty cool or, oh I was getting ahead of myself but survival is pretty cool but it's not as close as zombies and I think the missions for Modern Warfare 3 weren't as fun like I'm, I'm talking about the spec ops and all that but uh multiplayer was pretty fun like like when I first started playing it I think I got gold from for my mp5 and the, and the m16 I believe I can't remember but other than that it's like it was just kind of a copy of Modern Warfare 2 and I think I'm gonna just put it in, in B tier because it was it wasn't it was fun but it wasn't that great. All right, so moving along. Well, oh no, well I did have yours truly. Well, no, I'm trying to think. One for two, and then one for three had the army. So you know, U.S. Army. Let's go, hua boys, hua. But other than that, yeah, I think I'll keep it at B. All right, fellas. So moving along, we have like one of the best Call of Duty's on like the list, like hands down, dude. Black Ops 2, dude, it's like, it's beautiful. At the time when I first started playing it, when I bought it, I think that was one of the first CODs that I bought, like, no, I did buy, no, I bought Modern for Call of Duty 4, that was my first one I bought, but I think I split it with my parents, but I think Black Ops was the original one I first bought myself, <laughs> I had to have my parents, like, buy it, but I gave them the money, but that's, like, the first one I ever bought, I was kind of mad when I first bought it, because I was, like, 60 whole dollars are you kidding me and then i was complaining about it the whole time i was i wasn't having fun i was like man this game sucks you know it doesn't have that much content like black ops it's 60 dollars what am i doing with my life but after i grew up and after i started playing a little more i realized that holy shit this is super fun as fuck dude the multiplayer was lit as fuck uh the zombies was super duper lit originally transit wasn't that great but going back to it, it's kind of fun. Like, if you think about it, it's more of a challenge. And back then, when I first played it, you know, I was kind of annoyed. Transit was annoying. I didn't get it because I was young. Uh, I was in middle school, I believe, at the time. But then after that, after playing it, like, a few years and then going back to it, now that I'm a, now that I'm a zombies, like, master, I can go back and say, wow, this is fun, actually. This is kind of fun. It's a challenge. I like a challenge. And then the few s zombie modes they had, like, survival and then, um, I forgot the on no not onslaught but I forgot the other name of it the one where you can have four v four where you can battle another four players that was pretty fun that was pretty innovative I just wish they brought that back because that was super fun uh, there was a certain little strategy to going against people um, in zombies you know I remember you could throw an EMP at a juggernaut and it would take down the juggernaut for everyone but at least you would know you and your team would know. I think, or actually, I think that your team wouldn't be affected, but I think you would have been. I, I don't remember. It was a little strategy you could do. But the whole point of it was to survive longer than the, the other team. But it's just, like, something cool to think about that zombies can have eight players, you know? That was back in the day when we only had four players. And what's even crazy is that on the original Xbox 360 and the PS3, you can have four players split screen on zombies. That was unheard of at the time. And back in Cold War, or black, back in uh, Black Ops 1, there was only two players. Four players if you glitched it out, which I did a lot, but it would always crash. So that was super fun, and I think Black Ops 2, the story was amazing as well. I'm talking like, I'm talking freaking, we're jumping over from uh, Cold War to the second Cold War in 2025. You know, that shit was lit. And then just the fact that it was like, I, I don't remember if it was who created it, but I think it was the maker of Dark Knight. Uh, I can't remember if it was the writer or producer, but it was just a great-ass story. 
if you think about it, it's really kind of like the Joker setup, like like Batman and Joker. It's, it's Menendez was a great villain. You know, he had his motivations that were clear. The story was just amazing. It was great. So that's definitely an S tier. S S tier, if I could. Uh, don't know why I've never played. I played every single con. But I digress. Let's move on. So after Black Ops 2, I can't remember if it was Ghost. Let me see real quick. Advanced Warfare or Ghost? No, it was Ghost. So Ghost right here. Um, I think everyone likes to shit on it. And I think it's warranted, to be honest. Uh, I played the campaign. The campaign was alright. Up until the ending where freaking... It just it leaves you on a cliffhanger, and even though we know it wasn't gonna go anywhere, um, they really thought that we were gonna have Ghost Two or something. Like, I mean, I'm retarded, but I'm not that retarded. But uh, yeah, you know, he survived. Is the main antagonist survives? I forgot his name. Rourke. Rourke. Rourke? I, don't I don't know. I think that was his name. That was someone's name. But yeah, you know, he survived again, and even though he got shot through the chest. And freaking, yeah, you know, that, that makes no sense. And then what's crazy, too, is that when I try to do in Veteran for it, because I like completing every single uh, campaign on Veteran, but when I played Veteran on Ghost, freaking, there was a glitch that I remembered, like, painfully that I remembered, where you have to survive after getting shot by pressing F, but you have to do it, like, almost to a TAS level, TSA level, where you have to, like, press it, like, five times per second or something, the F button. It was just retarded. I would die constantly, like, every single time. And every time you died in the scene, you had to, like, go back to the beginning of it and you had to watch it for, like, 30 seconds. So you would lose, like, a minute every try or a minute or two every try or a minute, no, half a second, half a minute to a minute, like, every two tries, whatever. So it just sucked. Everything was bad about it. Infection, I think, I believe that was, that's what it was called, Infection with the Aliens. That was pretty cool, but it just wasn't, like, zombies. It was just... It was like whatever, you know, it wasn't as great. It was a nice little mode, but, and it has the fans, I'm pretty sure, but it just wasn't that great, to be honest. I think it's chilling with D, and it might go even lower, but we'll see. But Ghost just ain't it, Chief. It just ain't it. Alright, so let's move on, fellas. Alright, so Ghost. I think, uh, I keep forgetting, <laughs> I keep forgetting the actual, like, list after, like, Black Ops 2. Because that's the ones I pretty much grew up with exactly so I guess I kinda have to guess at me. Guess at me. I think. Uh I'm trying to remember, sorry. <laughs> or we'll just go we'll start off with the advanced warfare then. We'll talk about that one. The campaign was pretty fun, you know. I liked the uh, Kevin Spacey portrayal in it. Um it was pretty cool to switch over and then you know the beginning with the Marines, the futuristic Marines was kinda cool. I like that. Uh kinda look into like how the military would look like a little bit in the future. Um, one problem with it though is that um, in the campaign it shows Korea as a as a technical giant in like 2035 or something. I can't remember when it takes place, but um, North Korea ain't gonna reach that level, bro. They're, they're still in the Stone Age, but <laughs> that's just like my one gripe pretty much with the campaign. Uh, everyone kind of I kind of saw it coming with Kevin Spacey kind of like kind of betraying you in a way because. Because you could tell just by his character, just the way he portrayed it. But it was just perfect, dude. I loved it. That was before the allegations came out, Kevin Spacey and all that stuff happened. That was when I still kind of respected him as an actor. Um, but after that, it just kind of went downhill. But the multiplayer was alright, you know. I think, to be honest, with Adventure Warfare, I didn't play it too much. But, you know, it was still kind of fun to mess around with. At the time, it was pretty, like, revolutionary because no one, no one like, ever seen something like this. It was just a tactical advanced shooter. Just moving around, like, jetpacking, jumping through. You know, it was pretty fun. Like, it was just... It was a new kind of thing. It brought something to the table. But at the end of the day, it was just... Okay, you know, it was an okay game. I think a B would be pretty good. But that was just a, a sign of the times. Because a little later, we'll find out that... That's not what people want anymore, you know? So, let's move on. So, I think uh, we'll go with Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Because Black Ops 3 is an amazing game. I'm talking, like, great... Black Ops 3, you know, people people see the campaign as, like, it was kind of trippy, and for, for, for me as well, it was trippy. Later on, reviewing it and um, actually, like, taking the time to, like, check the story. It makes sense, but it doesn't. I think uh, it starts off, I don't I don't want to spoil it, but, uh, you know, the game's already been out for, like, what, five years? So I'll go into it a little bit, but it starts off with you on a team with, uh, what's his name? I'm not even going to say names, so it just starts off with you on a team saving someone. 
and then you get left behind, you die by robots, but then you're in a surgery, but then you survive, but then you don't survive because you die in the surgery. And then I think they read your mind in order to take it into someone else's mind. Uh, was Rourke the one? No, Rourke was in Ghost. It's not. Okay, you know, I forgot. I'll just say I forgot. It was trippy, but it, but uh, it's not really the campaign you kind of came for. I like the co-op. The co-op was fun because cause you don't really see co-op in the Call of Duty game. Last time we saw it was at War Out War, so, you know, it's pretty fun to see co-op again. But no one wants to play the campaign, though, because it kind of, because it was just okay. And then it really didn't have any connection to the Black Ops storyline. Like, I, I was hoping to hear maybe something about, like, uh, our homies, like, the Masons or freaking, I don't know, Woods, something, you know? But no, it just, it just had Raul Menendez, and that was it. It just, it was brief mention, too, so that kind of sucked, you know? I didn't really like it, but... But where it comes into like into death is the multiplayer. The multiplayer was like super fun. Um, it was just like super fun to hop on with the boys, play some of the maps. You know, the mechanics were pretty fun. Um, I'm looking at videos nowadays where like people are like showing off like how the mechanics could actually work, and it's just crazy how people exploit it. Like it's it's wild and like I'm seeing people like uh, doing parkour like halfway across the map. They don't even have to touch the ground. They could just like refill like every time they jump. It's just crazy. Now, even like to this day, we're still finding out things about Black Ops 3. And the zombies, the zombies was like top tier, dude. I just wish COD would like release a zombie game. Because if, if, if Black Ops 3 zombies was like its own game, it would be like probably an S tier. Because the mod support for it, it's just crazy, dude. The mod support is crazy. I just love it. It's just so perfect. And then not only that, but the zombies itself is just super fun. I'm talking like all the maps they introduced to it. it the, the DLC maps and the regular maps, it was just super fun. Um, really, Black Ops 3 Zombies was just like super lit, dude. I loved it. It brought new stuff to the table. Uh, Gobble Gump was a, was a weird little mess when they did it for uh, pay to play, but other than that, you know, it was just super fun. Top tier, top tier. But not S tier, not S tier quality because everything wasn't perfect, but it's it's still pretty good. Like I would say it's an A. I would still go back just to play the zombies, or I would still go back every now and then to play the multiplayer. It's just rare, but still. Alright, moving along, fellas. Now, this one's a little controversial, fellas. We're talking about Infinite Warfare right here. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. Uh, that's a shit game, Walter. Why are you talking about it? Get that out of my face. Go kill yourself. <laughs> but in reality, though, honestly, like, it was it was amazing, to be honest. Now, the multiplayer was subpar. I'm going to agree with you guys there. The multiplayer sucked ass. And there was a pay to win and all that shit. That shit was nasty. But it was just like... It was beautiful though. Like the campaign was just perfect, dude. I loved it. All the characters were like memorable as hell, dude. I can remember every single character, dude. They had personality, they had wit, they had charm, they had military lingo that I understood, which is funny because they're in the Navy, but it, it just mixed together. It was just so it was beautiful, you know? Um, and then it's just it's just so sad too at the end, but the story was just amazing, dude. I loved it. Now, some of you guys might say, like, oh, well, it was okay, it wasn't the best. But in my opinion, though, like, if you get the lingo, if you get the side story, if you, if you it's it's super replayable, and it, it's just so fun, though, like, honestly. And then, don't get me started with the zombies. The zombies, at the end, wasn't that great. The last map was horrible. But they really tried. I know they really tried, and it was super fun. It was, like, it's a whole different version of zombies. The tone was different, because if we look at the first map, zombies in space land, that shit was just fun. Compared to like the old zombies or to like what I wore or Black Ops 1 zombies, the shift of tone is like super duper crazy, but it's fun. Like it's, it doesn't take itself serious, but it does. You know, you know it was made with love, especially with all the little game modes you had in Spaceland and then later on in the others, in the new zombie maps. Like it just, it was just fun. Like it, it was, it was like a movie and it was just fun. Um, zombies and then campaign was fun. Multiplayer subpar. But I think it's still a good game. Even though everyone disliked it, I still think it was a great game. But again, like I said, it got to the point where people were saying, oh, you know, the zombie sucks. Um, or not zombie, my bad. This this Call of Duty Modern Warfare, or Infinite Warfare sucks. We don't want any more um, experimental jumpsuits. We don't want to jump around. We don't want that movement. We want boots on the ground experience. And that's kind of what killed it. And then what also killed it was Battlefield 1 when it dropped. Battlefield 1 was a great-ass great game, dude. I freaking love it, dude. To this day, I still play it. But, yeah, it did get overshadowed by that, and it got super disliked. Everyone hated it. But it was it's a great game. Like, honestly, I, I truly like it. 
I still go back to play it every now and then. The graphics pretty good. The campaign is fun. Zombies super fun. But I agree with you guys. Multiplayer, multiplayer sucked ass. And you still you can't find anyone playing on it right now on PC servers. So take it that what you will. But it's it's fun to me. I loved it. It was an A. I, I had a blast playing it. This is my list, you know, just a uh, little disclaimer, this is my list, if you guys don't like it, you know, uh, fuck off, but yeah, you know, let's keep moving on. So I believe up next was, I can't remember if it was Black Ops 4, I think it was Black Ops 4. Let's see, why am I forgetting, this is stupid, but I kind of gave up after like Black Ops 2, like trying to remember what which one came which. I still played all of them, but I can't remember which one was which. Now, Black Ops 4... I don't know, man. That one was okay. Honestly, the multiplayer was really bad. Or, yeah, the, no, the multiplayer was okay because I actually really did care about it on the PC. But the zombies was, like, the zombies was mad, dude. I think I think there was a documentary that I that watched the other day talking about how Black Ops 4 Zombies was, like, the most incomplete. Um, halfway through, I think they fired the lead director or something like that. I can't remember what it was. It, it had to be something like that where, like, halfway through, the they had to rush it up so it was just like really bad the zombies was really bad it, it, it still had its great moments but it was just really bad and then multiplayer was like okay i didn't play too much of it and then the battle royale i'm not a big fan of i hate battle royale i did want to try it out because black because like i always wanted a call of duty type battle royale but to be honest it, it just wasn't that great i think i'll place it in c or no, it's definitely really bad to be honest. And then I'll move, I'll move it up to C actually, because I think that looks nice. Now, EF, I'm probably not gonna use, but yeah, I think that's pretty good right now. It's just, it was just bad. Call of Duty Black Ops Four, it's just really bad. I didn't like it personally. I didn't play it too much, but I still didn't like it. I think, after, I think when Battle Royale came out for it, I was like, no, I'm done. Okay, it's such an overused thing now. Back then, it was, I think, by Black Ops 4's time, I think it was already kind of overused. Uh, then Modern Warfare came out with Cold War, Warzone, but that's kind of a different story. I think they fixed it, but we'll go over that in a little bit. Now, World War II, let's, let's start talking about this a little bit. Now, me personally, I didn't like it too much. Now, granted, you're going to look at my time spent in the game, and you'll be like, well, you spent freaking like 60 hours plus on the game. What are you talking about? Well... I played it, I enjoyed it, but but looking back at it now, it's like, it kind of doesn't make any sense why we why we called for it, because I know after Infinite Warfare we got World War Two, but it just I don't I don't know the story was like okay, I didn't like the story too much, but it was all right. Um, it just had a lot of inconsistencies, and I don't know why we begged for the old mechanics. It just made no sense. Like why did we ask for like health kits? And, and then the multiplayer, we didn't even use them. Like, it, it, it makes no sense. Like, why just just keep it at that point? Because you're just making the game harder. Uh, harder is good sometimes, you know, having a harder difficulty. But it still just doesn't make any sense. We're going backwards. And, and like, I don't know, whatever. Med kits, I guess I guess they wanted to use our nostalgia. And, and I, we, I kind of saw through it. Most people kind of saw through it. Uh, a few of us still probably don't see through it. We're like, oh, well, World War II is a good game. But like to be honest, it was just kind of subpar. And then the multiplayer was fun, though. I think I think it was very innovative with multiplayer because I did like the hub world. The hub world was pretty fun, dude. Like I just I wish they brought that back, like for Modern Warfare and Cold War, because just chilling the hub world was pretty chill. And then you could show off your character. You could practice shooting. Um, freaking, you can do little mini stuff. And then if you really wanted to, you can go and and do like little one on ones, one v ones. That was fun, like, I, that was truly fun, dude. Multiplayer was very innovative, it was fun. Um, it's just, it's before Modern Warfare, so the gunplay wasn't really that great, but it was just super fun, though, to be honest. And the zombies, the zombies was pretty okay. Uh, I didn't play, I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I didn't play a lot of it. I only played the first level and even, or the first uh, map, but it was, I don't know about how, like, the rest of it came out. Um, the only reason I, I liked multiplayer was because of David Tennant <laughs> showing up as a doctor, but his character is an Irish man, Irish uh, thief, I think, I can't remember. Um, but, but to be honest, like, or no, Scottish, I think. He's actually Scottish in real life, so I think he was a Scottish thief, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so, yeah, but 
think I might just keep it at a B because honestly, it was like the multiplayer was a pretty innovative thing about it, but everything else was kind of like eh. Uh, the campaign two was and and especially going backwards in time, like why are we gonna add med kits to it? If if like that's what what is this like two thousand five two thousand three? Why are we doing med kits again? Come on, was this Doom? It's fucking it's it's the new age. Come on. Now if you want to be Doom. You know, at least try better. <laughs> at least Doom, the new Doom is pretty cool. Both of them. All right, so let's keep moving on then. So Modern Warfare, fellas, this this game right here, dog. This game, it was just amazing, dude. Honestly, when it first came out, I wasn't expecting it to be amazing. To be honest, I was like, okay, a reboot, and who cares? You know, the series is over with. We already finished with Modern Warfare Three. Who cares? You know. But to be honest, though, this is kind of what it was needed. This is what Call of Duty needed, actually, to save itself. And really, we haven't seen anything like it since. And it's, it's pretty amazing, dog, to be honest. The campaign was, like, fun. You know, I, I really liked it. I think the big defining moment for it was uh, that one mission where you sneak into a house. That one was pretty fun. Like, that was awesome. Like, just seeing it. Um, it kind of... I wish they, they, they had, like, options where you can accidentally kill civilians. Because that's kind of really how warfare is nowadays. It's it's kind of heated a moment stuff to where you don't have a you don't have a chance to like call or you don't have a chance to think about stuff sometimes you have to make calls on the fly and if you live and you kill someone you live with it you know that's kind of the decisions you make and I think it showed it showed that in a way especially in the scene where you kill the mom or you could kill the mom with the baby but um, yeah I think that's the one time it let you which was kind of cool so it threw some punches it it, it hold back some. But it, it, the campaign was like fun. It was amazing, especially that one memorable uh, that one mission was uh, I forgot what it was called. Where you sneak into a house to get a uh, hadir. Where you sneak into a house to get a deer. You have to like waddle around, sneak through like houses, and turn off lights. That was pretty cool. I liked that one as well. Just the, the campaign was super memorable. I loved it, and it hit it hit tones such as like um, where sometimes to keep keep the world clean, you have to get your hands dirty. It makes sense, you know, that's how it is in real life as well. So, campaign was amazing. Uh, you, what's what's even funny is that you could actually unlock stuff for the multiplayer with the campaign. And then speaking of which, when you hop on the multiplayer, multiplayer which is beautiful, dude. The revamp of like how the gunplay is and the movement, it was just superb, dude. We're talking about like double running, we're talking about mounting, we're talking about jumping over things. Which just the way everything feels is just it's so fluid and smooth and it's just perfect, dude. The mechanics of it are just amazing. And then topple it off with customization. Like if you run it, if you really wanted to, you can have like the fastest gun. You can have like the the smallest SMG ever, the smallest shotgun, and just literally run around a map and just kill people with the with stims. It's just beautiful, dude. The customization on it was just crazy. And then not only that, but the skins, and then it came out later, but the skins were pretty cool. My favorite's the Domino one with the FBI. That one's dope. Um, and then with the addition of the Battle Pass, which is warranted, the Battle Pass is pretty cool. You don't have to buy it, but like support buying it will, will support the creators. They'll get more maps. And it came out pretty good, you know, to be honest. Uh, no DLC for it, like you didn't have to pay for it, so that was perfect, you know. And if you really want to, you buy the Battle Pass and that's it. You don't have to buy the DLC. And that's what kept the game alive, to be honest. Just dropping DLC and everyone could play it. And then not only that, but like like back then it, when they dropped DLC, um, only certain players could play it. And then the servers would just be not populated. But with Mono Warfare, it was just like, wow, that's super lit. People can play all the maps. And then they brought back maps from like the series. It was just super dope. They were remastered. But the thing to keep a uh, um, um, thing to pay attention to is that the way Cold War does it, I'll tell you guys later on once it comes up with Cold War, or I'll go over it now. Fuck it. But the way Cold War does it is that all it does now is just drop old maps from the from the older series, which is cool because you know who doesn't like remastered maps, right? Especially if they're good ones. But the thing about that though is that you just can't have half of your map selection be re remastered maps. Because a lot of people have gone into it, and then Cold War, they're saying that there's a bunch of remastered, half of it is remastered maps, and the other half is, like, regular. And for Modern Warfare, at least, Modern Warfare dropped a bunch of good maps, and then they added remastered on top of newer maps, too. So, take it out what you will. Modern Warfare did it perfectly. And then, once Warzone dropped, that was super lit. Me, I'm not a big fan of Warzone. I'm not a big fan of Battle Royale. I just, that's how I am. 
I'm not a big fan of it. I think it's sweaty. I'm cool with sweating games. Like, you know, I play CSGO every now and then. I play competitively for Modern Warfare and Cold War every now and then. But I just don't like sweating all the time, you know? And then in then Warzone, it's just like, if you have a good team going, you know, you can do it. I get a few dubs here and there. But it's something that's just too sweaty for me. The the skill breach mass making could be like a little crazy sometimes. It just depends. But I just like to chill and play with bots. That's my type of like game that I like to play. And what better way to play with bots is with the uh, co-op. Before Warzone, which what's funny is that people don't know this, but before Warzone there was co-op and co-op was the big Verdant's mask and then map and then that's where you could play the little missions of co-op. And co-op was actually kind of fun. Me and my homies would hop on, four players, we would uh, just dominate the bots. Sometimes they dominate us because we're not ready. I always recommend using machine guns for the hardest levels. And then one of my favorite ones is the plane one where you drop off with a bomb. You you go on it. <laughs> it's, it's crazy to think, but you you drive to you you drive killing everyone to a spot. You hop on the plane. You kill everyone on the plane. You drop off the plane. You blow it up, and then you go to a certain location. That was like super fun back in the day. I remember I was playing it. I was I was having a blast. Not only that too, but you could level up like playing co-op too. And then you could level up your weapons, I think, too, back in back then. I don't know if you could still do it. I don't know if it was ever possible, but I think I remember it leveling up. So that was fun. And then finally they dropped the survival mode from Modern Warfare 3 and made a comeback. But it was behind the paywall. You had to do it. You could only do it when you played on PS4 or PS5 or PS4 when it came out. And that, that sucked, dude. I hated that. Because survival was like, like or... Yeah, it's survival. Survival was like fun, like a model for three. It wasn't the best, like I said, it doesn't replace zombies, but at least it was a different mode. And back when I played, I kind of got bored around the time before Warzone came out. I already knocked everything out. But when one, like, if I had survival, that would have, like, that would have been the, the top of the cake, dude. I would have had a blast. Once it did come out, um, I did have fun with it, you know, I, I but my siblings just hated it, but I, I had a fun with it. Uh, but anyways, this, I think I'm talking too much about uh, Modern Warfare. Uh, that's going to go on S tier. That's honestly a great game. The way they revamped everything, I think it was needed for the series. And to be honest, I it's it just kind of sad too because me and my siblings in a few discussion posts, we like to say that Modern Warfare should have lasted another year. Um, another year in development or another year like being supportive. And that's kind of that's kind of how we're looking at a Cold War now. Modern Warfare should have just been supported another year. Warzone should have been supported another year. And then maybe Cold War could have dropped next year. Uh, the wait would have been worth it. I mean, I kind of I kind of like zombies and all that, but I think the wait would have been worth it. But uh, I'll get to more rumors about Cold War later because Cold War's up next. And boy, oh boy, you know. <laughs> uh, yikes, you know. Huh? Um, the good. Okay, I'm just kidding. Now, to be honest, so look. People hate Cold War, and that's understandable, you know? It's because most people who play Call of Duty that I've noticed, not everyone, I'm not saying everyone, but I'm saying most of the people who play Call of Duty, they mostly hop into that multiplayer or the Warzone, and they just call it a day. But, but truthfully, you have to fully experience the game, in my opinion, to see its actual worth. And Cold War, to be honest, isn't that bad of a game when you look at it, but... Let me go. Let me get into it, cause it, it's more better if I explain. So for Cold War, the campaign, the campaign was pretty fun to be honest. Uh, a little short to be honest, but it's still pretty fun. I do like the fact you can choose your missions, and I do like the fact that there's an Easter egg, where you can complete them and then you get a different ending, or you, uh, I can't remember if it was a different ending or something else. I can't remember what it was, but. It's just it's just fun like like it goes back to the black ops 2 days where you can choose a different ending not great but you know it's whatever um but it's still something you know something you can work towards and then it's it's replayable i think in my opinion the downside with it though is that i think the campaign's a little too easy uh, i finished it on realistic it was just super easy like i only died like a few times and that was it it's just i don't know something about it i think they broke realistic the the mode but it was just still fun. Like, the campaign was fun. It added on to the series. But in my opinion, I don't know. It, it's kind of half and half. Because this takes place before Black Ops 2. So that means after after Cold Wars, a certain character's going to die. But there's there's some talk about saying how Black Ops 2 isn't canon anymore or something like that. Or they're going to make it uncanon. Or I don't know what. Hopefully they don't because Black Ops 2 was an amazing game. 
I, I truly love the campaign. The campaign was lit. So hopefully they don't decanonize it or something. But it does have ties to Black Ops 2 when you do see Realm and this is dad on the bed as they killed him. The CIA killed him, I believe, on the one cartel map. But let's move on to multiplayer now that we're talking about it. The multiplayer, it's it's good. The multiplayer is good. But the problem with it is that it's just the skill-based matchmaking, dude. It's so retarded, dude. Like, swear to God. Like, it's not so bad, to be honest. Like, it's not as great as Modern Warfare with the revamp mechanics and the running and the and the gunplay. But it's still pretty fun to, like, just... Because the way I see it is that Modern War the series of Modern Warfare, it's always been about... I'm gonna say like the multiplayer, but the actual like one-on-one -on -one aspect of killing. But I always seen like Black Ops, the whole Black Ops series, as party mode slash like just kind of having fun, crazy fun. And to be honest, like Cold War, it's it's pretty fun when you play party games and party modes, and when you play like just just crazy fun like like Nuketown and freaking all the old maps. But the thing that kills it from having from being good. It's just the skill-based matchmaking, dude. It's horrible. Like, I'll be going three games, I'll be doing good, and then next thing you know, three games, I'm doing shit. I'm getting, like, a .2 KD, and I'm like, like, what the hell? And then three games, I'm doing a 2 KD. I'm like, bro, this makes literally no sense, dude. I can't improve at a game if it just it just, just keeps happening. What's the point? If I'm going to eat ass, like, what's the point, dude? You know, if someone's going to eat my ass, then I eat ass. What's the point? So that's what truly kills it, dude. Like, in, in my opinion, if they fix the skill-based matchmaking to bring it back to Modern Warfare two times, or just it depends on your just look your location or your or your connection, that would be amazing. But unfortunately, that's not how it goes. And it, it, multiplayer is just what kills it, dude. Because prop hunt is fun. That was pretty fun. Granted, I'd rather play Gmod prop hunt, but that's still pretty fun. But the but it's just skill-based matchmaking. It's like, and then what's even worse to add insult to injury is that they do have a competitive mode, but they, they still put it into casual. Why are you going to put skill-based matchmaking into casual? It still, it makes no sense. Like, literally just take it out, let everyone play based on connection, like we used to back in the day, and move on. At least with Modern Warfare, it wasn't that bad. Like, there were still some games where, yeah, you know, I got my ass ate, but at least there I had a chance. At least there I can improve. Cold War was just so bad, dude. I, I can't have fun on multiplayer, dude. Like that one meme goes, you know, you'll play like two games and you'll just call it quits and just go play Warzone. That's literally how it is. That's how people do it. It just sucks. But moving along for, for multiplayer, we finally have zombies, dude. And zombies, fuck, dude, that thing was amazing, dude. It's, it's not the best zombies, in my opinion. I think Black Ops 2 is still up there and Black Ops 3 was still pretty fun. But Cold War zombies is just super fun. Like, they revamped it, <laughs> as in, like, let, like, Modern Warfare revamped, like, like the, the, all the mechanics and everything, but Cold War revamped the whole zombie mechanics and everything, and that shit's fun, dude. It's fun to actually kill zombies again. And they added a lot of more elements that, like, make it more fun. Like, the way you can upgrade your weapon, not just Pack-a-Punch, but upgrade it with scraps. It's pretty fun, you know, it's something you keep in the back of your head, and, and it takes longer to set up, so you're not set up right away. You set up over time, and then you can just you can survive high rounds like easy. I will admit it is a million times easier compared to like Black Ops Three and Black Ops One and Black Ops Two, but it's still fun. Like it's super fun, and what's truly great about it is that you can level up. You can level up your weapons and level up your your character and everything just on zombies. Like you can just I've literally made it to like level two hundred one time just on zombies alone, just grinding up weapons grinding up skins everything dude it's, it's, it's super fun like if you don't want to play like like for me personally like i said i hate sweating i hate playing games where you have to go against people i'm not a competitive type i just like playing for fun you know uh i like playing with like a lot of players that's why i love battlefield you know it doesn't fall in line with just me someone can pick up the slack i can pick up the slack for players etc so i like playing bots games i like playing zombie games because i hate sweating you know i hate i hate warzone i hate sweat games searching the story that kind of stuff so to play zombies it's, it's just super fun it's amazing but the one thing holding everything back is the multiplayer in my opinion that's why i can't give it an a or an s it's just it's just subpar dude but the campaign and zombies is super fun but just the, the multiplayer dude i'm sorry i truly wish i could give it higher but until it's fixed that's probably where it's gonna be but with, 
I forgot to mention earlier, the greatest thing about Modern Warfare and Cold War, though, is the fact that they introduced crossplay. Granted, it does have its bugs and, and it does have its uh, little niche stuff that's broken. Like, I've noticed that, um, um, people are gonna hate me, but I noticed that when you play Warzone or you play uh, Modern Warfare multiplayer, the aim assist is pretty crazy, to be honest, on controller. Um, literally, like, it's. It, I know people are gonna argue all day, you know, keyboard and mouse is more superior because you could lock on to people faster. But sometimes, like, in, in close quarter, that makes sense. Yeah, you can do close quarters, that's way easier. But when you do stuff like far away, like when you have to aim at targets further away, it takes a little longer to get the mouse on the target. But for controller, sometimes all you have to do is just aim and it's, it's on target. And that's kind of like the downside of it. And it, sometimes it locks on. It locks on and moves with them. Rather when PC players have to follow along with it. But, you know, that's just a few little minor complaints. But I'm still saying, like, the best part of it, in my opinion, is crossplay. That's really what brought Call of Duty back on business. And that's how it revamped it. And that's how it became a great-ass game. S-tier game. And then Cold War followed suit with it. It was pretty good. But, like I said, multiplayer just sucks ass. And people rather just play Warzone and Modern Warfare. That's what I'm saying earlier. Modern Warfare should have just been kept for another year, and that should have been it, honestly. But, uh, yeah, you know, I think that's probably it for all of them. I think that's all the Call of Duties. Sorry if I didn't review um, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 1 on the PS Vita, the, the Sony Vita, whatever. Um, I haven't legit played that one yet. I'm trying to get my hands on it. But, one, I don't have a Vita, and two, I don't have that game either. Uh, plus, I don't think you'll be able to download it soon because the servers are down. But, yeah, you know. Those are the Call of Duty lists so far, though. Um, I'll let you know if I, if I ever do a, a DS version of the Call of Duties, or if I do a separate version, or if I add Red One or you know, the other CODs. But I think so far this is a great list. This, this is in line with my views. Uh, Cold War, I think, would be the only one that would change if they could just fix it. Um, and then that would be it, honestly. Uh, let's see. Yep, that looks pretty good. Yeah. So anyways, uh, oh shit, I've reached an hour mark. Sorry, fellas. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching, dorks. And uh, if you liked what you saw, like and subscribe. I don't care if you don't, whatever, you know, life is meaningless. We all die and we turn to dust and whatever. But uh, anyways, thanks for watching. And uh, keep an eye out for food reviews. Oh yeah, if you have any suggestions down below for food, let me know. I'm trying to look for food, but I can't find anything like crazy or weird. Something you guys might be interested in. So let me know, guys. Anyways, peace out.